Hi, my name is Clay, and today I'll be showing you a fix for the DK2 dongle. If you're experiencing any of these uh, following issues, then this fix is for you. First thing we see is sometimes Visi will get stuck on the splash screen. Uh, some other common issues that uh, do arise is the Visi session becomes stale and unresponsive. Some more issues are the file new, open, save or save as, or save part as, or even merge, those items can then not be used. Additionally, if you can't close the Visi window and you have to utilize your task manager, that could be another issue that is being caused by the DK2 dongle. Some common errors that we see are lock code mismatch or application license not available. Additionally, if you're seeing any delays when running the post processor, that could also be due to the DK2 dongle driver itself. So in order to fix this, we need to address what version the driver for the DK2 is using. So go ahead and go to your control panel and we'll check the version that's currently being used. If the version is not .67 at the end, then we know that we have to go ahead and uninstall that version of the DK2 driver. In this case, it's .73, so we'll go ahead and uninstall it. Next, what we'll do is install the correct driver version, which is .67. Once you've got it downloaded, go ahead and launch the executable file and walk through the install process. After that, we're going to go ahead and launch Visi just to test and make sure that Visi is still working. Uh, if you have any questions or issues during this process, please feel free to reach out to support. We can be reached at 248-922-9293 or by email at support at tst-software.com. Thanks for watching.